Principal Care Management CPT codes. Do you know the rates and workflow for this program? In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know for Principal Care Management or PCM in order to properly bill and code in order to maximize your revenue. Hi, this is Lauren from ThoroughCare. Here at ThoroughCare, we help practices like yours every day to properly manage, bill, and streamline programs like Principal Care Management. Knowing the billing codes for PCM will give you a better understanding of what's expected by your insurances, your providers, and your care team. There are two series of CPT codes that you'll need to know based on who is providing these services. But before we look at the CPT codes, let's explore how Principal Care Management actually works. If you're familiar with Chronic Care Management, or CCM, you're already familiar with PCM. PCM works very similar to Chronic Care Management, with the one main difference being that with PCM, you only manage one chronic condition. Another key difference between CCM and PCM is the time spent with your patients needed to bill. In Chronic Care Management, there's only 20 minutes of non-face-to-face -face time needed, but in Principal Care Management, there is 30 minutes of non-face-to-face -face time needed within a calendar month. This time can either be accrued by a clinician and or physician to meet the requirements for the CPT codes associated with the program. Services are delivered through remote or non-face-to-face -face interactions so your patient can stay at home in between visits. These services include, but aren't limited to, telephone calls, referrals, prescription refills, interactions with other providers, just to name a few. So what does the patient need in order to qualify for principal care management? Well, at first, you need to have at least one chronic condition expected to last between three months to a year or expected to last the remainder of the patient's life. The patient must also consent with either verbal or written consent so they know what they can expect from this program. This consent must also be documented. Now, let's look at the CPT codes needed to properly bill principal care management. There are four codes in total, two series of codes. These can either be codes by clinician time or physician time. Let's look at provider time for principal care management first. The first code you need to be made aware of is CPT code 99424. This takes into account 30 minutes of provider time only. At 30 minutes, you can bill 99424, which pays at about $81 national average reimbursement. There's also another provider code, 99425, which can be billed on top of 99424 only. 99425 is an additional 30 minutes on top of the initial 30 minutes. So think 60 minutes of non-face-to-face -face provider time. 99425 pays national average reimbursement of $58, which adds out to about $139 total. Now, let's talk about clinical CPT codes for the PCM program. The first clinical code is code 99426. 99426 is 30 minutes of non-face-to-face -face time done by a clinician. So think a certified resource or hire who is not a provider at your practice. 99426 pays a national average reimbursement of $61. The additional add-on code for PCM clinician time is 99427. Like the provider codes, 99427 can only be billed on top of 99426 after an additional 30 minutes is accrued past the initial 30 minutes of time. 99427 pays $47 nationally. At 60 minutes of clinician time, the national average reimbursement is $108. Now, recommendations from ThoroughCare for the PCM program. It's important to note that one provider cannot bill CCM and PCM within the same calendar month. So choose wisely on what program you'd like to provide to a specific patient. Now, PCM and CCM can be billed by separate providers for one patient within a month, but within a practice it cannot. Also, a great add-on for principal care management might be the remote patient monitoring program. 
these patients can be given a remote device that can transmit data or vitals to your practice in between visits. Now, PCM and RPM can be billed concurrently in the same month. So a great add-on opportunity for better patient care, for value-based programs, and also for higher reimbursement opportunities. So now that you have a better understanding of principal care management and their CPT codes, what should you do next? In the description below, there is a link to our learning center. Our learning center is written by our on-staff clinician team with everything you'll need to know regarding rules, regulations, tips, tricks, and answers to the most commonly asked questions we get here every day at ThoroughCare regarding value-based programs, or if you're ready to talk about how care coordination software can help your team reap these benefits, talk to me or another account manager here at ThoroughCare. Any additional questions, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for all of the latest videos, and we hope to hear from you soon.